Colchester. Um, just for the old windscreen final. We won, I think it was 2 0. 2 0. A few of us made our debut that night. So, yeah, I think, yeah, Colchester away. Good, yeah, a good game it was as well. For me. <laughs> there was a few in there. I can't say nothing, probably my club was worse than anyone's, but um, I don't know, like, it was weird. Uh, Dave Tuttle used to wear some. If he wore a tracksuit, that's when he was like, that was his worst clubber. He was better when he was in shirt and trousers every day. I'd say Dave Tuttle. You know what I loved? When I got in the team, kept you out, Robbie. All right, kept you out. All right, we were having a row over that last time. All right, it was um, that, that build up to coming up to the, the Birmingham game. I loved the f uh, Wednesday night, Tuesday night game. It was just fantastic. Um, best moments were there Wolves, Coventry away, the 1 0. I remember just coming off after the game, ears are ringing, you know what I mean? Um, but again, when we scored the equaliser against Birmingham, it was just that buzz diving in the crowd, seeing me mate Davey there, he was in his wheelchair and dived on him, and um, after that he could walk again. <laughs> you got Cladger on your team, but not, I, couldn't, I don't want to put him in it because he's an absolute legend to me, because what he'd give on a Saturday. but. He wouldn't do that in a everyday training, but he'd finish training and go straight on the treadmill and run three mile or run eight mile up to the bookies with his money in his sock. You can't not take away the two boys I really like, Stephen Reed. It's a bit hard on Paul Eiffel and, and uh, TC, but uh, hmm. well, Timmy really, the best player. It was really good with his feet and it proved it when he did go to Everton, how good he was as a footballer. It was not just heading balls in goals. I'd probably look at probably look at Nevers in as a character of getting people going and things like that. Yeah, I, I took a lot of sight like working at the back, especially with him. Yeah, Birmingham, Birmingham. I had a really good game at Birmingham, and um, done a few cheeky things and it come off. And just from kick off was the one I think they played a long ball over the top, and I, it fell on my right foot and I didn't want to give it back to Tony too quick. Not to scarce as I'm known as. Right? Didn't want to give it back to him. We were too close. So the only thing I could do was back heel it between Stern John and um, Devlin. And I back heeled it between and I put, played it to Darren Wall and bounced a 1 2 off him. And I swear I'd just done it off like that. If I'd thought about it anymore, I'd have definitely passed in Stern John. What, played with or against? With. <laughs> <laughs> Worst player I've played with. Uh, uh, I'd say Robbie Ryan. No, I mean, like, um, nah, I like Robbie. I learned a lot from Robbie. We'll be um, and keeping it quite good and easy is Davy Livermore running across the hotel for rooftops uh, when we, <laughs> the year we won the league on his birthday. Had just had about a couple of cokes and he's just, um, yeah, got a little bit of um, happiness. But it was, yeah, I'll keep it like that. It was in a stiff game. And um, Willie Garrett was riving with Cherno, uh, no, not with Cherno, but with uh, Moses Cody, and he loved the row, by the way, of anyone. And uh, picked on all the big boys, and always got beat up. But um, <laughs> he's having a row with Willie, and Willie's uh, gone through him and just trying to tear his legs and arms off. And Colin come running the physio at the time, and he had a pair of scissors, and he's tried to grab Willie to get him off of him, and he stabs him up the arse, <laughs> and ends up giving him, I think, four or five stitches in his fucking bum cheek. It, it was a blinder, mate. Like following on for what Tony Warner said um, regarding, like you just see him in different places, like, and um, I mean one night he just went to me, bully, what are you doing? And I just said, well, nothing. I said, well, we're going home. He said, you fancy coming Paris? He said, we're going there and do a bit of disco in, like, and I was like, what? We're going to drive to Paris and then get ourselves back for training Monday morning. He was like, yeah, you would just find that geezer anywhere around the country in other countries. Legend. <laughs>